Pop quiz. What happens when you fuse fresh seafood with traditional Mexican fare and California flair? We're about to find out <laughs> right here in the Kirby and Holloway kitchen. Yeah, this is Chef Matt Griffin, uh, Mateo Salsa Loco in Fenwick Island. Yep. Thanks for being here in the Kirby and Holloway kitchen Welcome. today. Thanks for having me. So we are making fajitas. Fajitas, yep. yeah. We're gonna do tuna fajitas. Tuna fajitas. Black and sesame, black pepper seared tuna on top of our fajita, our traditional fajita. And in addition to that, we're also gonna make guacamole. So we have a lot yep. of work to do, don't we? We do, we gotta get busy. Let's right. get busy, chop, all chop. right. So okay. chop, chop, Put indeed. All right, so, so Jimmy, you're gonna, you're gonna dust the paprika butter onto the tuna. Okay. And then go right in here to the black sesame and black pepper. Should I go ahead and be turning this yep, on? Turn because on. That, that, we want going. that to be hot. Yep, want to get right. it real seasoned hot. I'm assuming not real super thick, but thick yeah, enough that. Yeah, that's good. Is there? Like, and that's paprika butter? That's a paprika butter that we make at the restaurant. Ah. It's smoked paprika, smoked hang Hungarian paprika, fresh lime juice. A little bit of other specialty uh, things in there I can't tell you all about. You can't, you, <laughs> you, you have to kill us, right? Yeah, There's the <laughs> secrets right there. Right. And then just drop it in the, and tell me what this is this that is I'm dropping black, this into. This is black sesame and black peppercorn. I was going to do blackened, but I didn't see a hood in here, so I didn't want to yeah. smoke this out. <laughs> so so we, this is a really good uh, way to do tuna also, get a nice, nice crispy uh, Thank you. Uh, right. Sear to it. Is that hot enough, that, do you yeah, think? A little bit hotter. A little yeah, bit this hotter? Is, this one here, we're going to do the veggies in, so we oh, need to okay. start chopping now. Okay. So hold off on that. We okay, we'll hold yet. off on this. All right, so you're going to chop an onion? Right, so we're going to chop an onion like this. <laughs> okay. Then I want to see you do that, Jimmy. Do one of those. Don't <laughs> give me go, that look. Come on, Jimmy, you got this. Are you kidding me? You, you got, got it. You, you got it. it. You can do it. All right, I got 10 to start with. Let's see how this goes. I can't do it like he did it. If I do it fast, there's no telling what'll happen. You got this. Yeah, you're doing great. So when you're doing this in the restaurant, I imagine you're going fast. Oh yeah, we're going fast. From yeah. start yeah, okay. to finish. All right, yeah. Well, well Jimmy, he's not he hiring does... me anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what am I doing with the onions? Okay, let's put them right in here. Back in here. Okay. In the bowl. All right. Mm. Do all of them have to get in the bowl? Can I drop half of them on the floor? What's mm. the? Uh, is there a standard rule if here? That's, if you need to, you can drop them yeah. on the floor. <laughs> yeah, we call it a five-second rule. Oh wait a minute! Today's my cleanup day. Oh, so you don't, I don't you want to. Want to uh, oh, okay. Good thing I fell on that napkin. Is it, yes. Yeah. Oh, how fortunate was that? Right. And then you yeah, said yeah, peppers, no. right? What we want to do here is kind of brush those up a little bit. Okay, I can do Got that. The peppers. No peppers. Chop okay. the peppers. You know what? You taught me something just a few minutes ago that I did not know, and probably everybody else and their dog did. I didn't know if you cut peppers this way, it's easier and works better. Yep, that's right. And you I cut against the skin, it makes it a little bit harder to get the knife through it. I had no idea. Is My dog didn't yep, know. Yep, just like that. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to do all those. All right. Do all of them, all yeah, four? Yeah, let's do all four of them. All right, doing all four. Oops, there goes. Yeah, that's there's okay. One. That's okay. We'll that's just put okay. that over there. That's, that's <laughs> the same. I didn't see nothing. I didn't see anything. See, he knows how we work the kitchen. You're still hired. Yeah, I'm still hired. Yay. Oh, yeah. She gets a job. I don't get a job. <laughs> Listen, I'm just glad I'm right, still so doing all this. This is our fajita marinade. Over okay. Here. This is something we make at the restaurant. I can't give you the recipe on this no. also. But it is a soy oil-based uh, chipotle. Mm. Okay. And I uh, give a little spice to the fajitas. Has a little heat to it. Yep. Get a little oil in there to uh, saute the veggies. So talking heat, are, are we doing everything like on real high temperatures here? What are we doing? Oh, yeah. We want to do the fajitas you want to cook fast and hot. Sear them. Sear and sizzle and hot. When you take them out to the table, they're still searing. Oh, yeah. You're going to see when we get done, they're going to be seared. Yeah. So all these right. are both out, right? Yeah, oh, well, okay. they will be. <laughs> all right. So let's go ahead and throw those onions in there. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, that's hot. That's, that's hot. hot. Ooh, that's hot, hot, hot. Hot, 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 hot. That's okay. All right, here, let me throw the onions in there. Okay, you throw them. Here's a little secret for you, Jenny. If you put your oil to the base like this and then right. dump your stuff in the back, it doesn't you splash. don't splash yourself. Pop up. I am learning so much from you today, I can't even begin to talk about it. Right. And then right. you're putting the sauce in. There you go. Yeah, now we're going to put the peppers mm. in there. Peppers are going in? Yep. So let's, uh, let's put, them in a, put them in a bowl. Yep. Nope. Okay. That'll be easier. Get this out of your way here. He didn't trust me trying to get it all the way to the pan. Yeah. He's you. seen me do this before. <laughs> <laughs> all right. There we go. All right, let's toss those in there. Mmm. Yep. How's really this good. Oh, my, you caught that one. Good catch. Right, a little more of that. Okay, a little more of that. And now, yeah, how, how, how do you cook them? I mean, or the, you don't want them, you still want them to have a little crunch to them, do you? Or do oh, you yeah, make them definitely want them al dente. Don't al dente. Don't want to overcook them. Okay. So now we're just going to let that cook. And we're okay. going to start on the, on the guacamole. Okay. All right, so we're going to take the avocados. Right. Ready, you know how to do those. Allegedly. Cut and, it in half. Uh, yeah, right. No, no. Yeah, yeah. That's just like that. Yep. Yes. <laughs> and then just go around the seed. There you go. Did they tell you about the last time I tried to do this um, on no, camera? They didn't. Well, here's what uh, they did that they didn't tell me. And it wasn't until it was way too late and I found out what happened. They gave me green avocados. Oh, that's not good. No. That was a struggle 
that I have never done before in my life. <laughs> That's still on hot, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So we still got a little bit here to do, right? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Well, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna keep doing the avocados here. Yep. We're gonna start the guacamole. Yep. And uh, we need some onion for that, too. Yeah. 